trying to give me a microphone. I'm like, I think I can project in this room. Yeah. Say what? Huh? <laughs> All right. How are you guys doing, Kokori Khan? I know we're tired. It's Sunday. It was just a beautiful weekend. This was probably the best weekend for weather-wise we've had since we've started this convention up here. This is actually the first con here that I think we have that we didn't have snow, right? Yeah. yeah. Everyone, we've at least had a skiff. If you're from the north, you know what a skiff is. If you don't, it's a dusting. Uh, but it, this weekend was gorgeous, uh, which was great, and I'm sure everybody had a fun time. But if you looked in the hallways, you thought there was like three people at the convention because they were, they were either in panel rooms, they were in the vendor hall, or they were out attacking all the, the woods out there, which is great. Uh, and I hope to see a lot of pictures, but it was kind of weird. It's, this is the first time with the weather being so great, walking down the hallway, just like, it's like Travolta in the middle of the... <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, we are already working on our 2021 dates. Uh, we are the same weekend as uh, this next year. So if you're looking for the dates for Kikori 2021, I think it's 5th, 6th, 7th, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the first full weekend in, in March next year. So if you're looking for your calendar, uh, please make sure to put that on. Uh, let's see here. So if you are event support or manager, director, or staff, please stand up. A lot of the other members still running around. We've got about eight people running up to the hospitality suite breaking it down right now. But uh, I'll be honest, and I say this every con, and, and, and I mean this with, with every, every ounce of my being. This convention would not be successful if it wasn't for the people you see standing up and they were, and they were uh, helping us out this weekend. Uh, I have staff begrudgingly with me since 2008, maybe? I don't know. I found the Kool-Aid in like 2008, 2009, and I, I made them drink it without them knowing it, I guess, because it's, it's nice to be running a, stat, running a convention 13 years already into our 13th year and uh, be able to have a lot of our senior staff that have been with me either since 2008 or 2009. Um, but we're always looking for more. So if you are specifically here in the Flagstaff area, or if you know anybody from the Flagstaff area that wants to help out and, and, and kind of get involved, please reach out to them. Let them know we're always looking for extra help throughout the entire weekend. Got a new one coming up here pretty soon. <laughs> um, <clears throat> But please, if you are interested, uh, we're always looking for this show and we're always looking for the other shows too. Our next show coming up is going to be Sabaku in Albuquerque in 26 days. So if you're looking for another show to go to, we've already announced a couple really cool guests. We've got some more announcements coming from them on Monday this week. So that's in Albuquerque. And then our next show after that actually is Kenichiwa, which is down in Tucson. So uh, we've, we've hopped away from the, the experience we had last year with our hotel. Uh, it wasn't the best. Um, the hotel's great uh, with, for us and, and to be there, but it just wasn't a, a good mix uh, uh, between us and the hotel. So we are at a new hotel, um, which is the Reed Park, uh, Reed, Double Tree Reed Park. So if you are looking to come down to Tucson, we're going to be in the June time frame. And then, of course, the, the behemoth that is Sobleton. Um, <laughs> if you haven't been, please come check us out. Uh, we already have sales going through the roof. Uh, we probably are going to see a big jump in attendance this year because unfortunately the, the nasty virus is going around right now. A lot of people are not buying badges to conventions and they're looking for stuff to go to in the, the late summer, fall time frame. So uh, we've already seen, I've scared my staff this week and we have price increases going up for Salvatin tonight. And right now, at this time last year, we are currently 130% ahead of last year's sales. Oh. And hotel room sales are kind of looking that way too. So if you are going to go to, and the reason I'm saying is if you are going to Salvatin this year, please don't delay on waiting for hotel rooms. Uh, the hotel rooms are almost all halfway sold out already. Wow. Um, so, that, and last year we did sell out the hotel. So we will sell out the hotel again this year. So please, if you are planning on going, get it early. You don't have to pay now. You just got to put your name on it. You can always cancel it if you get closer to the show and find out for whatever reason you can't go. 
uh, but I wanted to get that out there. We made some big announcements for Salvo already. Um, watch our page over the next two weeks. We're going to be making a three very, very huge international guest announcements. I won't say who they are, but I will tell you they're from Studio Ghibli. Holy shit! <laughs> Straight that out, right? <laughs> <laughs> so just keep, sorry, just, just keep keep an eye, keep an eye on that. Uh, we're really pulling the stops out this year uh, for Salvo, uh, so kind of kind of watch for that and watch the announcements and come check us out if you haven't. Um, and if you have, thank you for your patrons over the year. Um, for everybody with everything with the, the flus that are going around and all the other viruses that uh, we want to kind of over exaggerate, maybe I don't know. Um, please make sure you just wash your hands, everything you're doing, so that we don't have to worry about uh, passing it as much as, as people are worried about. I will say this before I kind of get to numbers and finishing everything up. I always forget the badges are up here. These are all of our badges Friday through Sunday. Full event, and that's it, and TV. Uh We do not give out the monkey pass, and we do not give out the exhibitor, or we don't give out the staff uh, badges as well. So every other badge we have on there. Uh, with the new badge design, I don't think you guys uh, saw the new badge designs if you haven't come to some of our later shows last year, but we changed our badges around in the middle of the summer last year, and I, I love them, and I think it's a great uh, layout for what we have. <coughs> Sorry. This altitude has kind of got me a little bit this weekend. I've been dry uh, all weekend long. Uh, but please come up and grab them. Um, so I said something about the monkey pass. Does everybody here know what the monkey pass is by chance? No, yes, couple. So uh, last year, right before Salvo, uh, we decided to start a new badge. So if you do go to two monkey paw conventions a year, you spend about 70 to $80, depending on when you buy your badge for the two badges. We started a new badge that's limited run. Uh, we're only going to do about 250 uh, for 2020. Uh, we're already about 110 in. Um, but it is a badge to get you to all six of our conventions for the entire 365 days. So if you're interested and you already go to two of our shows and you're thinking of going to one, uh, one other show, the third show basically would cost you about $20 more to be able to go for the third show because it's only $100 for that monkey pass. So if you are interested, watch our pages. We'll be pushing those over the next couple of weeks. We'll open it up again in two weeks and we'll have it open for two weeks leading into Sabaku. And then after Sabaka, we'll open up it again sometime in probably the May time frame, leading into Kinichiwa. Uh, so kind of keep an eye on that. I, I think it's it's not as much we're doing it to see if we can make money, because we probably are going to probably lose a little bit of money off the sales. Uh, but the goal really is to allow people who really enjoy going to two of our shows to pick a third show or a fourth show to go to, and you're really not spending any more money other than travel costs if you're going out of, out of state or if you have hotel room costs and stuff like that. Oh, my question was, is this like a physical badge that you yes. keep for a whole year? No. So oh, okay. it's so like, it's based off your ID. So that way you have to physically oh, so pick it up with your ID. On your, your name. So you're going to come into registration. You're going to show your ID. They're going to find your purchase action yeah. there, verify your ID with the purchase, and then you'll get the monkey badge. I was going to say, I'm going to lose it in two days. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I would never do that to convention goers because there's people that lose them throughout the weekend. I could not imagine <laughs> trying to expect people to leave convention to convention. I can't even keep, I keep my staff badge sometimes between conventions, so I can't even imagine someone trying to keep up throughout the entire year. And the other good thing is, is it's based off when you buy it. So if you buy it today, you've got it for 365 days. So all of our shows to go from today till next year, one day minus today, you'd be able to go to all six of those shows. Uh, so if you are interested, like I said, watch our social media and uh, kind of keep an eye out and watch when we're opening announcements for the sales. With that, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to try to cover. I don't think so. And it's, Make friends. Huh? Oh, thank you. Sorry. I've been, uh, like I said, this altitude has kind of got me a little bit today. No I don't know what it is. Either. Huh? No Stacy either. Well, no Stacy either, yes. Um, so that is one of the things that I, I always say at every convent, uh, at closing ceremonies, and I don't know why I, I didn't say it, so thank you, sir. Um, please take this challenge away. I don't care which convention you go to, which event you go to from now until that next event. Make a friend at that next show or the next show, the little event you go over that weekend. Find someone you've never talked to before, talk to them, and then do something with them between that show and the next show. Because what that does is that helps build up our community. And that helps more people enjoy what we do, and it helps more people love this industry that we love so much on a daily basis. Um, it, it Really, you can see it 
And I've heard so many people tell us from conventions, it's like, I actually took your word and I, I found someone in sitting in the corner that wasn't doing anything, talked to them for 10 minutes. I've been to four conventions with them since that. And that's really what we want because it helps our entire community grow year by year by year. And that's really what we need. We need more inclusion uh, than exclusion in, in this world. So uh, please take that to heart and make sure that you try to follow that rule wherever you go. Um, so thank you. Uh, with that being said, uh, attendance for Kikori 2020 is... Five hundred and twenty-three, which isn't bad. Uh, it's about the same, a little bit down from where we were last year. Uh, we were, I think, we were like five seventy, <clears throat> five seventy-five last year. Uh, the problem is, is we had some shows start to cancel in the middle of last last week, and I think it scared uh, a portion of people from coming out to events for right now. So uh, <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. I, it's it's one of those things that we really don't want this convention to grow. We like to keep it small, uh, so I think about small and intimate. But we need to make sure the vendors uh, do well. So that's some of the things that uh, my staff and I are gonna try to think of some ideas to try to help the vendors get a little bit better uh, business going through too. So without without anything else, um, thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys coming. Yeah. Um, are there any guests present in the room? I, uh, yes, actually there is. I, I was looking around and didn't see anybody. Would you like to come up and speak? Thank you, sir. I thought they all ran. <laughs> Oh, I don't need a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> well, hi, I'm Cake Monster Cosplay. It's nice to see all of you still here. Um, this is my first time ever getting to guest at a convention, and honestly, I'm very grateful. Kikari is one of my all-time favorite cons because it's so small and cute, and the scenery is just gorgeous. And this hotel is one of my all-time favorite hotels as well. Like, it doesn't compare. And I've been over the world a few times, and even their five-star hotels doesn't compare to the staff here in this location. Um, so, yeah, there's not really anything to it. I had a lot of fun here. It was so nice getting to see all of you, meeting you, and I really am super grateful for the opportunity. I love going to cons, especially Monkey Paw. You guys just, you have such a fantastic job with all of your conventions. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> so, I love coming back here. I definitely, definitely will be again next year and future events with you. Um, I hope you all make sure you stay safe drive home safely or fly however you're going, or if you just live down the street, have a safe, like, little cruise, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's really it. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> she threw me off because she got out of her costume. I was actually looking around for her and her, her costume. Uh, so thank you. I don't think there's any other guests in here, are there? Because I know the voice actors have to leave early because of their flights. Um, all right, so badges are here. Please make sure you come up and grab them. Um, other than that, I hope you guys had a really great weekend. I hope to see you at the next convention. If not, I hope to see you guys next year. Thank you so much.